Oh, season six is out. It's been dumped, so you <laughs> so you say. Uh, Orange is the New Black premiered last Friday, and as always, no shortage of drama for the inmates of Litchfield Penitentiary. And reeling from the prison riots, they're being separated and they're heading to maximum security facilities. Actress Desha Polanco plays, of course, Dianara Diaz, who's often at the center of the drama. And she's joining us this morning. How are you? Looking so Good. pretty in the future. Thank you. Thank we, you. We were noting that far from orange. Yeah. <laughs> so far. Not too you, far, but far. What do you think of the new season? I think it's amazing. I think that the show has done a brilliant job with staying relevant with the times and the current events and it just makes sense to touch on certain things. And like what? Like prison reform, uh, Black Lives Matter, transgendered, uh, abuse of power. There's so many topics that we've been able to, you know, portray via the creativity of Genji and the writers and it's just amazing to be part of a project that has lasted so long and has empowered women and diversity and created a platform like Netflix to be so successful in other shows. Let's talk about you and your character because yes. it's very physical this year. What's yeah. it been like for you? Because I mean, it's it's. I think it's. I'm concerned that you're going to get hurt. Yeah. I know that you're fine right now, but yeah. to be honest, while I was doing the, there's a scene at the beginning of the modern dance that was really uh, challenging because I've never done modern dance. And I was so excited to do that. And it was a lot of uplifting. Although they were able to lift me up in the air. What happened? I felt great. You know, I did kind of, I was sore for a couple of days. But it was amazing <laughs> to be up in the and air. And what about with you and the guard scenes? You know? I think that was really intense um, reading it. But actually experiencing, I think it, it touches a sense of vulnerability and like even more empathy for just women. Because I know Diana exists in, um, in prisons now. And I think that as a society, we tend to forget about the individuals that are incarcerated. Mm. But when I did that scene, and you know, they usually place a sand back, a sand, uh, like a kind of those CrossFit things behind you just to protect to you. To cushion you, yeah. Yeah, and the guard actually kicked, and I felt the intensity of that. It, it just, it, it really made me realize that there's so much abuse going on that we tend to like s sweep under the rug and not address. and. It's important that we use entertainment this way. And to also teach other people about the plight of what's going of on course. within the prison system. Of course. Did you do the entire scene on your own or did you have a stunt? No, no, I did the entire scene on my own. Really? Mm. Yeah. How yeah. did you have, did you have to train for that? Yes, you have someone on set that's a trained stunt um, director and they help you out throughout the way and then, you know, if you feel comfortable, you do it and I was comfortable doing it. But I did not know that it was go going to break me down mm -hmm eventually because I think you do it so often and then once you leave that it takes a moment to regroup and actually step out of the character and realize. We got a clip of uh, the new season of Orange is the New Black. Daya? I think they broke a rib today. Uh, well, maybe they'll let up when you're in Gen Pop. Uh, I think it'll be a while before we go to Jump Pop. The way that leads to mm. investigations and trials and everything. So how, how, what's the filming process like? Is it over a few months? It's six months of the year. Wow. And so where do you do this? We do it in Queens, in uh, Kaufman Studios, and uh, now we're shooting at Queens, uh, the Queens Jail. Yeah. Oh, so wait, you're still shooting? Yeah, we, we started shooting season seven now. You did? Yeah. Yeah. We start next week. Are you okay? How are things? Can you give us a little hint about seven? No, you have to finish <laughs> six. All right, you got to finish. How do you feel about it all being released at one time? Because I just started watching the new season. You're like, take your time. Some people will just sit there and binge the heck out of it. I feel like you, if you have to catch up, it's great to have the accessibility to binge. And if you have the time to wait, just savor it. There's certain things that you need to savor. Mm. I kind of like the, the freedom that the audience gets to choose. Like you could be on the bus, you could be on the train, you could mm -hmm. be in your bathroom, mm -hmm. you could be on, in the kitchen, you can multitask while you're watching. You could just be cuddled up in bed or eating truffles. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. What about your daughter? Because we saw her, yes. you know, in the flashback. Is there a chance that we'll get to see her again? And how was that having your girl with you? I was very proud of her. I did not expect that to happen. It was something unexpected. Um, she was very professional. Uh -huh. She better be. 
Um, <laughs> she was, you know, raised well. Right. <laughs> but she's uh, like a real mini you. Yes. Everyone says that. Yeah. We're kind of doing this this week, actually. Uh, we planned on dressing the same and just taking a lot of pictures. Did you for bring her? I didn't bring her. She's working. She has three jobs this summer. Oh my goodness! Is she goodness. doing other acting, or what is she? She wants to, but right now she's concentrating on like she just took her SAT. She did very well on her SATs Yay. and going to college and doing whatever she wants to do. So, Mimo, you have two girls, right? I have a daughter and a son. Oh, a daughter and a son. And the son's okay with your daughter getting a lot of this attention? Yeah, he's a little. He's he just won a baseball championship that I was in, in a, an assistant coach of the Michael Busick League in in Washington Heights, and. Um, Orion and the Sunny are, I think I'm doing a very good job raising independent and, and uh, self-confident and, you know, just kids that are living in the moment. I You're think not, it's, it's not easy being a, a single parent, right? No, it's not. I think you need support, but you also need to know that you have to set your kids up to succeed, that if you're not here one day, they're able to uh, survive on their own and what not to do? be codependent. What do you do for you when you're not raising them and you're not working? What do oh, you mama has do a lot for of you? Time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm a woman, so I do whatever makes me happy. I do spa, I work out crazy. I do like high intensity level, like PRX, weightlifting. I have dinner. I, I have dinner. Boyfriend. You're so funny. I have. Special someone? Yeah. <laughs> you always have a special someone. Good for you. Yeah. Well, All congratulations right. on the new Thank season. You. All Thank the best. You. Come back, yeah. please, and visit yes, us, Sasha. Always. All right. Fantastic. All right. It's new season, Orange is the New Black, out on Netflix right now.